Hello and welcome to a new series, or I don't know if it'll be a series, but just a, maybe a playtest. Uh, the mod pack No Rest um, by Tuandor Gaming. Um, Tuandor and his son have been developing this. This is version 1.0.4. Um, and uh, I figured I'd give it a test. Uh, I tried uh, 11 times the 1.0.3. Um, mod pack um, as you can see by there but uh, we'll try with this new uh, version and he's made some significant changes um, <laughs> I encourage you to check out his videos um, on to indoor gaming and I figured I'd record some of my playtesting um, to see how it worked and uh, whether the balance got a little better. Um, uh, really, in this one, turn down the um, kind of mob awareness down about two-thirds, three-quarters to two-thirds, uh, both in terms of what they could see uh, directly and uh, through blocks. Oh, and this is what I hate about buy and bundle. <laughs> Very often when you start a world, you start deep, deep, deep under the sea and barely make it to the surface. Okay, which I have made it at least to the surface, but um, oh, I'm gonna get killed by a hydra right away or by. There's so many bad things in this world. You saw that thing swimming around over there. It's like a Loch Ness monster type thing, I think. <laughs> Well, there we go. Slain by the Sea Serpent. Okay. Um, we'll spectate world. And we'll save and quit the title. And sometimes, um, yeah, that's what happens. So we'll do create new world again. Um, we'll do new. I don't know that... Uh, as a mod pack developer, you can really do anything about that. Um, biome bundle, just, I don't know, there's so much water or something, it just tends to spawn you in the middle of the ocean. I think in the regular Minecraft, it searches for a spawnable, appropriate spawnable space near zero, zero, and that, but always puts you on shore or close to shore. Um, but yeah, look again. Um, here we are in the middle of the ocean. Um, I see a boat over here. Maybe that could help us get started. Probably not. I see... We're not in the same world, are we? I hope not. I'm going to throw these Tinker's books out. Um, if I ever get to Tinker's, uh, which who knows if we ever will, uh, I think I'll probably be able to uh, figure something out. Now, there is land over there. Um, the question is, should I grab wood here? I'm going to say no. So one of the changes Tuandor made this time is extended daytime. So you can see on the top of my screen, this kind of like bar is progressing, the sun's progressing. But at noon, so when that bar kind of reaches that middle point there, I think basically the sun pauses in the sky for about 10 minutes. So it doubles the length of the day. Um, and then time starts progressing again um, normally and uh, nighttime is only 10 minutes, so you basically have two-thirds of the time being day and only one-third of the time being night, uh, which is a good change. Um, <laughs> there is a lot to do to be able to prepare for your first night in this mod, and um, yeah, that extra 10 minutes is going to be a big deal. I looks like I should have grabbed wood from that boat. I'm sure I went in the wrong direction here. See, do we, we don't have journey map installed either. 
Interesting. It's shooting at me. Oh, something from underground. A skeleton can see me. Creeper is blowing up. Um... Lag spike there. Music went off. Oh, I should have grabbed that rock. Huh. <laughs> that poor island, just for me being around, uh, <laughs> it's getting destroyed. Um, oh, I'm going to die. Uh, but you know what? Um, <laughs> I'm out in the middle of the ocean. I'm going to probably try playthrough number 13 or 14 coming up here in a second. Um, I really haven't experienced these. I think every time I've gotten close, they just kill me. I think this is a siren. Yeah, see, she like pulls you in. Hi, siren. How are you? Oh, why were you attacking me? So like, I'm not mad at you or anything. But yeah. That's what happens. Um, yeah, so did I go the wrong way here? Probably. Probably could have headed in this other direction and found some wood. Maybe not. No, maybe not. Okay, let's try. Third time's a charm, right? No, nope, no, nope, not multiplayer. Single player. 13, create new world. Okay, new, hardcore 13, 14, oops, <laughs> even I'm forgetting now. Okay, hardcore 14, game mode hardcore, create a new world. And off we go. And maybe I apologize for including seven minutes of me goofing around just trying to get a world started, but, you know, um, trying to give the mod pack developers a accurate uh, per picture of what it's like to play. Oh, no, not again. All right, well, <laughs> this is an interesting start. I have a Mushroom Island over here. That could be, wow, actually, that could be a huge, huge, this could be a world we could live in. Um, there'll be no mobs spawning on that island. I think that will apply even in this mod pack. Holy cow. That, we could actually make a base out there and maybe survive, you know, um, a night or two or even more maybe. Holy cow. Let's not get too far away from there. Um, I'm looking for a couple of rocks and sticks. There we go. A little bit of lag there, looks like, but no problem. Okay, now we can go ahead and make ourselves a handle, an axe head, and just like Tuandor does in his videos, get ourselves a couple of pieces of wood. I'm going to grab three, though, instead of just two. Um, cause I'm lazy and don't feel like um, finding more sticks. I want to get right to this. Now, the fact that we can break dirt with our hand now is great because I will take advantage of that right away. Get down here to some stone. Just grab enough to get started here. Excellent. Okay, let's throw this stuff up here. Now, it's just a plain stone axe. Excellent. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy about it. 
sometimes you get dud dud weapons or dud uh, dud axes when you do that. Oh my goodness, look at this. Iron right away. We'll have a shield. We'll have a bucket. Pickaxe, something like that. This is an amazing start. Whoa, there's a big vein of iron too. Holy cow, look at this. Well, sometimes taking those seven minutes of time, <laughs> wasted time, really pays off. Wow, look at this. This is incredible. Um, you see those little ones down there behind where I'm digging, right? That is a mob taking damage. Probably a zombie trying to dig at me or something and going through. Oh my goodness, look at all this iron. This is an incredible seed. Well, just an incredible lucky place to dig, I guess. I will tell you my strategy um, with this mod pack to stay alive a few days, which I have done a couple times um, on the original versions, was pretty much to dig down um, almost right away and um, get down to bedrock level, um, to, to level 11, and um, definitely need torches. Okay. Let's do some inventory management here. Um, okay. Apples for eating. Those are nice. Let's get a ton of wood while we're waiting. We can always make charcoal too. Um, by getting down uh, that deep, I was able to, you know, find diamonds right away. And, and also what I do is I just dig in a straight line. I had no intention of ever coming back. Uh, tried to keep ahead of the zombies that were going to be chasing us by just moving um, and trying to stay out of... Oh, good, I hear cows. So I'm going to stop chopping wood and go get the cows now. Get over here where I can jump, critical hit the guy, so the other cows don't attack me. Oh, we got a hat. I don't know how to activate the hats. We'll have to learn that. It's not H, is it? Oh, there, look at that. Viewing all hats. Bull hat. No. Okay. I don't want a hat right now. <laughs> it's so funny, it's H. I <laughs> thought that was a joke. I was just hitting H just to see. That's what it is. I've never used that mod before. Okay. So we've got a little leather, a little food. I'm just getting wood so I can dig down at night. Um, now, the other thing is, so what they did um, was added a little bit of resistance to stone bricks. So... Um, one thing I might want to do is be smelting up my cobblestone earlier rather than later. Okay, that should be plenty of wood to get started. And our iron should have smelted up by now, so let's... A little bit of lag. Oh, there's another cow. You are not going to escape my wrath, sorry. Okay, so what can we do? We can go with a pick, go with an axe. Go with a shovel, go with a sword. Legendary! Okay, so slow attack speed, but lots of extra attack damage on that guy. Um, let's see. 
extra attack damage on that guy as well. Let's have that down here. Let's arm our shield. And we will still have, let's see, 11 ingots left. Um, we can protect the bottom parts of our body. How about that? Pants and boots. Have a little bit of food. Um, anything I don't need, I'm going to toss. Well, actually, no, you know what I'll do is throw that in there. Might smelt the last piece of... Whoa, what was that? Something's got me. Got some weird effect. Did I hit some button? What's going on? Got a loot bag. Okay, saddles are nice. There we go. Okay, so that effect went away. It was something maybe to do with that cow? I do not know what happened there. Okay, uh, we'll do that. We'll make one more, some more torches. That's kind of nice. Um, I kind of want to go set up on that Mushroom Island and see if I can actually get a base. I've never really had a place to put my stuff down in this mod pack before. <laughs> um, it's never been... What is going on here? It's like I get super speed all of a sudden. Whee! Hmm. I'm not getting like a an effect beacon or you know indication anywhere. Um, I'm gonna leave this stuff here. So weird. Okay, but instead I am going to go over to the island. I'll go grab just. What? This is so weird. Isn't is it, is it just me? I mean, like, look at that speed. In the water, it's normal. We I guess I should explore while I have it. Getting too far away from where I want to go, though. Holy cow! Let's get some more food. What do you think this is? If anybody uh, watching knows how this happened or how I got my super speed, let me know. Um, I did see the desert temple over here. Those are good things to check out early game, so let's... Whoa! I could have died there. Okay, there's something, oh, it's that like Hydra or something over there? What is that thing? Oh my gosh, let's get out of here. Didn't see us, did it? Okay, let's uh, try to bust in here instead of going in the normal way because that thing is dangerous. Okay, and I just like to go down the corners. I don't know. Iron wolf armor, huh? I don't know how helpful that is. For that. The emerald's nice. Reading enchantment. Um, OK. 
okay wheat sticks <laughs> um, yeah this didn't really uh, turn out uh, the way I'd hoped but um, oh well it's early game how did I get out of here um, I'm very scared of that Hydra thing oh my gosh it's right there I'm incredibly fast right now if I can stay out of the water I didn't mean to jump in the water oh my gosh whoa huh. look at the thing it's like digging it's trying to dig into the side to go get me but I'm not in there anymore uh, let's throw that away and grab that Whoa, these guys are just blowing up everything everywhere. Um, so as you can see, day kind of paused there in the middle. So there is something weird about, is it this biome? Is it, is it that game time paused? But, Tried to dig the dirt with the iron pick there and hurt myself. Just grabbing a little extra coal because, yeah, coal can be super useful at night. Um, want to set up a base. We're gonna want to light it up. All right. Well, this was a decent uh, first day. Let's go out to the island where we want to set up uh, our place. And it's funny, it's not, not well, it's faster in the water, just not super fast. But on land, I mean, look at that. Woo! Let's do this. Nice to have an island all to ourselves. No mobs in theory should be out here. Let's just light up the edges just in case. go do some inventory management and uh, try to figure out a place to live. So I think I like to go this way more. Um, there's the slime island over there. I think this is a nice flat spot. Um, so let's set up uh, our basics here. We will do the crafting bench, the furnace, cooking, double chest, uh, we'll start stashing away some of our things, actually let's put the shuriken down, um, oh right, I can't probably plant it there, but I can put some dirt down maybe and then plant it on the dirt. There we go. Might, that might actually keep it dirt, not let it turn into mycelium. We'll find out. Science, I can't remember that, but I think that's the way it worked. Um, that once... Oh, like if you do that... Um, It works. Get 
get rid of the giant mushroom. So, I'm very curious to see what happens here tonight. Um, I am hoping that we are relatively safe. And it will be ready to panic. But um, if I end up just going into a hidey hole for the night or something like that, I will uh, spare you and uh, cut the episode there. But let's, let's see how we do. Um, okay, we have a legendary loot bag. Let's open that together. Oh, yeah. So my understanding is I can't wear these now. Um... Although it looks like I can. Let's see. What's the difference? Three and a half, four. Yeah. So these these things would need to work. Um, there's some skill book thing uh, that I have to figure out. Let's see. Skills. Book of skills. Bo improvable skills, it says. Um, so I'll have to, have to get to work on that. Um, just need some gold, actually. Is that right? Uh, paper, which I have now. Um, books, which I don't, but I... Oh, I don't have paper. I thought I had paper. Okay, well, let's put some of this stuff away. Empty map. It's nice to have. Put the iron leggings away. The TNT I don't need right now. Definitely don't need that any of that stuff. The coal is good to have on me. That's kind of useless. Stack all of this stuff over here. Um, do I have any other food? No other real food. Okay. Um, so if I dig this up, I just get regular dirt, right? Okay, let's go ahead and put down some lights. It is getting dark. So we will put down a second row of lights here. And a third row of lights about here. Fourth row of lights about here. This will let us see at night. This is off to an amazing start. I quite honestly never felt like um, I could relax for five minutes in this game, and I do feel like that right now, which is super nice. Um, I will have to say, so I've got to come up with um, with a little strategy of what to do next, and I think what I'm going to do is... Um, Dig straight down. <laughs> uh, always the best plan, right? Uh, I got all that iron, but you know what I didn't make was a bucket. It's usually the first thing I make. For some reason, I got distracted and so happy that I didn't make one. But uh, all right, well here we go. Let's um, oops, let's dig straight down and see how we do. But you know what? I am going to say that was 30 minutes, and um, uh, it's a good place to cut this uh, v video and come back next time, and we'll see how um, what I do, um, if there really aren't any mobs around here, if I can make some progress. Thanks for watching.
Bye for now.